An 18-year-old senior from Northwestern High School in the Detroit, Michigan area is fighting for his life in the hospital after suffering a cardiac arrest during a basketball game. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second. First, guys, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit the like button for me. Very important. Also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, on Tuesday, January 31st, a basketball game going on here at the school, and Cartier Woods, an 18-year-old senior for Northwestern High School, was in the game. This is just a couple minutes into the game, actually about three minutes or so. Uh, he went over to the coach to let him know that he was feeling dizzy, he was not feeling well, and that he needed to come out of the game. Not very long after that, is when it happened. Cartier Woods uh, having a cardiac arrest right there on the court. He ended up on the floor where they immediately administered a CPR to him. Now, luckily, there were only a couple of minutes away from Henry Ford Hospital. And so uh, he was quickly taken over there. Um, but, you know, since this, you know, event the time I'm recording this now, about 24 hours since this happened, um, he is on life support right now fighting for his life in the hospital um, and, you know, be in prayer for him, you know, right now. Of course, you know, things could change by the time that some of you are watching this video. Um, his legal guardian, who is his aunt by the name of Dewanda, uh, Dewanda Woods, had said that she wanted this to get out because she was asking people to pray for her nephew. She said that sports was what he always wanted to do, whether it was basketball, whether it was football, whatever it was. This was his passion. It's what he's always talked about since the time that he was a young boy. She also said that she knew of no prior health conditions that he had that would have led to this. She says, I, I thought his heart was completely fine. Now, of course, you know, we have seen, and I have reported on so many of these, right? Young athlete after young athlete that are just dropping left and right. A lot of people asking, is it the pinchy? I don't know. Does it, does it fit what we've seen a lot of the times? Yes, it does. But I'm not saying that's what it is, and I never will. But one thing that we could all say and agree on is that this is not normal, what we are seeing take place here. There is no reason why young athletes like this, you know, in high school and all this, should be dropping. There's no way. It should not be taking place. And again, a lot of us know why that could be. The superintendent also released a statement about what took place here with Cartier Woods and, you know, is also asking everybody for their prayers right now for him to rally behind him that God can do a miracle um, and bring him back and you know we know that God is capable of doing that so again be in prayer for him here that he can you know make this full comeback um, and that he can get off of life support you know I also welcome anybody if you uh, are a friend of Cartier you'd like to offer any thoughts please feel free uh, to do so here down below in the comment section what I want to do right now, though, is I want to end this video on hope. This is so important because this is part of my ministry outreach. You know, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines here and keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. The reason that I do it is because we are trying to reach people for Jesus Christ here in these last days. Uh, we have a lot of evil going on in the world right now, and you have to be walking with the Lord in these uncertain times. You also want to make sure that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. And so if you're watching this video right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer right now to do just that. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you would humbly go before the Lord though and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do. 
to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, guys, I'll have more information on this for you down below. Uh, I welcome your thoughts. Prayers going out to Cartier Woods for a complete and full recovery in Jesus' name. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.